What is up, YouTube? This is your boy Omid, and I'm bringing you exactly what I promised. Um, I went and I got the new uh, map pack for the Call of Duty Black Ops, and I actually I got the season pass, but new maps just dropped uh, today, and um, I figured I'd do uh, the very first game that I do on each map, uh, regardless of how I do. I was gonna put up on this channel um, with what my thoughts were of the actual uh, maps and of the map packs themselves. So the first um, game that you're seeing here is Hydro and this is actually the first game period that I've ever played using the new map pack and using the new gun the Peacekeeper and I guess I'll start with the new gun the new gun for me I, I absolutely love um, it took a little bit getting used to in this game you see I start off a bit slow and then I kind of start picking up the pace um, the iron sights is absolutely perfect on it um, there's no need to attach any sort of uh, other optics or red dots on top of it. Uh, it's this really cool mix between the assault rifle and an SMG. So, um, what happens is it fires at a slower rate than the standard SMG, but he at the same time has the no sway and recoil of an assault rifle. So, it allows you to pick people off from farther away on the map really accurately. Um, so what you notice me do at this point, uh, at several points in this game, is I look across to the other archways and be able to pick them off. And it's, it's really nice, it's really cool, I really enjoyed it. Although, um, I will warn you, and this is hopefully a message that Treyarch also gets out, and I've seen some other people post videos of this. Um, there is a glitch that happens, in which I have gotten the map and can see me with the game here. Um, the moment that I close down, um, and I get out of the game, and then I come back in, I have to reset all of my classes with the new Peacekeeper gun. So, if you set up all your classes and you have Peacekeeper, and I should say all of your classes, um, just be ready to re-equip the Peacekeeper to all those classes again the next time you go in or until this bug is fixed. Because if not, what happens is it defaults it to the, I think it's the first gun in the SMG series is what it defaulted to um, so it's uh, just a heads up to you on that um, now as for this map um, this is probably my um, favorite of all four maps um, it's all, and that's because pretty much there's two levels um, to this map and a lot of times um, and one of the big issues that I've had with some of the maps ever since the Call of Duty has gone vertical, meaning every single game since Call of Duty 4, was that as you're running forward, everything is above you. I mean, so you have two-story, three-story buildings where people can shoot down on you. In this map, however, you have this base plane, which is what you see me on now, and then underneath all of us, there's actually um, the water portion of the hydro dam. So, once you spawn at uh, A, if you make a right, you can run what's almost underground to the right hand side through a waterworks and then if you're on C you run to the right or the left and you can essentially do the same thing so it is multi-level like the other maps that are in Call of Duty but it's not a um, where you could shoot down at all times and kill the person on the other level which to me I, I love it brings me back um, to Call of Duty 4 which everything was flat everything was plain and you really with the exception of one or two maps really didn't have to worry about people tagging you from up above without you know, almost out of your sight line this is almost a straight gun on gun super super fast paced yet at the same time all of the lines and the pathways are clearly defined it, they took it back away from what was the modern warfare 3 model which was those 10,000 paths running every different direction um, they brought it back was the old school where there's essentially there's three paths you have up the middle up the right up the left and of course you know as I didn't mention you have like an underneath but th there's not a, a whole lot of different flanking routes you have to worry about that's not the case as with some of the um, other maps that they just released and I'll explain those when we actually get to them but in, in, in this map, they're um, pretty much identical on both sides, and they're linked by this turbine room, which would be, I guess, if you're looking at A, it's the right-hand side, if you're looking at C, it's the left, 
Um, the one thing that I will strongly caution is if you do push too far into the enemy's base, that is one of the key areas in which they will spawn is in that turbine room. So as you just saw, what happened to me is I pushed in too deep and the guy spawned behind me. Um, so if you're going to go down that way, uh, make sure you always keep an eye behind you because somebody will spawn there. Um, I'm assuming that this, the spawn system really hasn't quite worked itself out on these new maps yet and it probably will within the upcoming days. Now, um, I had heard um, rumors, and, I, and I've yet to confirm or concern this is my first match, um, was that the water can be activated and can kind of run. Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure about that though. Um, I will say my one complaint about this map, and, and it is a huge, huge complaint. Um, if you remember back to Black Ops 2, uh, the one thing that drove a lot of people crazy was if you played the uh, silo map, you know, with the the missile and the rocket would go up and the map would shake, or if you played the train level, you'd hear the train um, going off in the background and it distorts your sound. There is a sound effect similar to that in this level. Um, it's a man who goes on and screams and you pretty much you lose all sound while this guy is yelling and over the course of this game it happened two maybe three times um, so it was a bit jarring and a, I wasn't a big fan of it I don't understand why uh, they feel the need to put um, overarching sounds instead of just giving us great gameplay and great sounds but you know that's neither here nor there um, yeah, the, the one thing about this map is, I gotta say, since it is um, really small, it's definitely not sniper friendly. Um, it's definitely uh, more geared towards uh, your SMGs. Um, assault rifles a little bit, if you can set up some map dominance and control for from the um, the archways looking on to B, you can actually control that fairly well. Um, one thing that I, at least I would recommend on this map because it is a good deal smaller and when I say good deal smaller I'm talking maybe slightly bigger than Nuketown uh, would be um, to run uh, the smaller killstreaks. Um, one of the um, guys on my team actually gets uh, a Lone Star but if you remember in the recent patch that it did they actually nerfed the Lone Star. Uh, what I'm actually running in this map is the UAV counter UAV and the sentry gun. Um, I figured uh, first time in the new map UAV counter UAV is good. Um, stop. We could see them. They can't see us. And then um, I took a gamble on the sentry gun because sometimes they're good at um, holding down positions. But I found on this one if you look at overarching like the catwalks that overlook B on both sides or even these two windows that you just saw me looking into. Um, there's one on both sides and then on turbine those um, at the front and the back if you place your turret in any one of those three locations, so catwalk, um, window left, or um, entryway turbine right, you can actually lock down the entire wing of the map. It's, it's really quite handy to have. Um, so uh, just something to think about there. Um, this is actually a pretty good uh, nade spot. Um, it's on the left hand side near the waterfront and what you can actually do with cover from from the outside of the map is lob grenades right on to B. Um, you do have to be careful though because there is that little ledge you can jump down. So when you go and capture B, um, there's a barricade um, that sits uh, 90 degrees from the, the, the door on the right. And as you see, my teammate here, you can lie down there and look directly um, towards the, the entryway that's off the cliff. So you can have one guy protect there and you have, you have one guy step just a little bit far off. You can make sure they don't come through the window on that right side hutch as well as anybody coming up. So it's, it's the B is fairly easy to capture on this map which is something that I absolutely love. Um, I understand why they make it a little bit more difficult to capture B. But at the same time, you know, with some of the maps they've put out in um, in this game, that the bees are almost so impossible to capture them, there's such a death trap that nobody goes for it. Um, on this map, that doesn't seem to be the case. Uh, people were always we going back and forth, constantly grabbing it, and that was because that barricade was there, which gave us uh, a nice protection um, from the enemy team advancing. So if you look here, uh, one guy can lay on the barricade, one guy can actually stand in this catwalk and protect them. Um, it's kind of nice. Um, so I gotta say, on a scale of uh, one to five, you know, 
how much do I like this map compared to the other maps in Black Ops 2. Um, for me, this this is a five. Um, this is probably my favorite map released so far, and, and I couldn't be happier. So, as far as I was concerned, I was off to a good start, and I'm actually got kind of fortunate that um, I played four games tonight, and each one of the four games was each one of the new maps. So, um, but tonight, tomorrow, I'm gonna have all four of these videos up. Uh, put in the, the comments below what you thought about this map. Um, I can say you know how much I like it. But the colors uh, were bright enough such that the enemy popped against them, yet not too bright enough to be a distraction. So they kind of separated themselves from the browns and grays to a little bit of reds and little blues, which is nice. And this was an absolute fail, and I was lucky I got the final kill. But thank you so much for stopping by. Um, there's going to be a link to the other three maps in this video. Please go check them out and uh, have a good day.